We have a look tonight at a growing trend as this nation continues to debate stem cell therapy. Some desperate Americans, unhappy with the law here, are voting instead with their feet, traveling overseas for treatments they hope will help with everything from spinal injury to heart disease. NBC News correspondent Ian Williams followed one family's odyssey in search of relief for a rare condition. For nine-year-old Brooke Burrells and her family, it was a journey to the unknown, but one they hoped could change her life. A little apprehensive, but um, excited. Right, Tetsi? We made it. They traveled 7,000 miles to China for a new and controversial treatment unavailable in the U.S. and costing more than $20,000, raised in the East Troy, Wisconsin community. Nobody would be happier than her if she could start to take some steps on her own. And I owe that to her to allow her to have that possibility of that opportunity. Relax, don't worry, okay? Brooke's development has been limited by a rare condition, preventing her body from processing glucose, a vital fuel for the brain. With your uh, finger, touch your nose, okay? They hoped Chinese doctors could improve Brooke's mobility and speech. Mm, nine. Nine. Slowly, slowly. They were putting their faith in stem cells. Ten million then. Yeah. In one injection. The most basic of cells, the building blocks of the human body. Scientists believe they have the power to regenerate damaged tissue and give new hope to children like Brooke, who faced a series of six injections and plenty of physiotherapy. As high as you can go, kick your leg out. Over her month-long stay. These stem cells are from umbilical cords of healthy Chinese babies, not from human embryos, which have made the treatment so controversial in the U.S. My brave girl. It'll be okay. You will be fine. You did the right thing. I know. It's a long way to come from the Midwest, but more and more Americans are making the journey to China to explore a new frontier in medical science for treatment they simply can't get at home. Critics say the treatment's at best unproven and lacks proper oversight. But China aims to be a pioneer, claiming to offer relief for everything from heart disease to spinal damage. And this is Brooke now, three months later, at home in Wisconsin. A small improvement in her speech and a few steps unassisted. To see the joy in her eyes and the fact that I did it, and you know, she got to the counter and she hung on and she was just so excited. Vicky believes this is the result of the stem cell therapy, which has given the family renewed hope. Right, Ian Williams, NBC Someday News, Hangzhou, fast. China.